Hey, good Thursday evening, folks. We've been advertising the chance of seeing a few snowflakes as we go through the next couple of days. In particular, the window of opportunity we're looking at is early Saturday morning with a fast moving clipper that will be rolling on through the mid-Atlantic. Now, I thought I'd start with some numbers here. I'm a numbers guy. Stats always win. 747. That's the number of days it's been at Norfolk, our official recording station since we've seen at least an inch of snow. Going to go all the way back to January the 29th of 2022. That seems like a long time, and it is. Our longest snowless droughts on record, this is the sixth longest so far. But in recent memory, there's been two other stretches that have been even longer. One that came to an end in 2021 that lasted over 1,000 days. But what tops the list is the longest stretch on record, 1,860 days. That came to an end on Christmas in 2010. Remember that storm? 14 inches of snow reported out at Norfolk International. Waited five years for that. That's just crazy. Hopefully we don't have to wait that long if you're a snow lover. If not, sure, you can extend it, right? All right, here's how it looks on Futurecast, why our snow chances look pretty dismal getting into Saturday morning. Latest run of our future cast high res short range model here. OK, so we've got the cloud cover on the increase tomorrow night. Temperatures going through the overnight. Pay particular attention to that. Don't get it. It's not getting too cold. Temperatures in the low 40s by 1130 at night through the overnight. They actually start to warm based on this model's depiction of where the center of the storm tracks. It's saying it passes right over the Cape Charles area keeping most of south side, northeastern North Carolina, on the warm side. See, the cold air isn't too far away, just to the north and west, where Richmond's getting that changeover to some wet snow. Now, that transition line tries to push its way off to the south and east. However, it's racing in, but this storm system is also racing to the east and offshore, so it just doesn't look like it'll line up and catch up with what will likely be a, ret, a wet rain shower or two in the south side in northeastern North Carolina. Best chances at seeing some snowflakes, eastern shore, northern neck, and northern parts of the peninsula. Then it races out of here, winds shift, and we turn breezy, and that's when the cold air finally gets here. So what I just showed you is our graph in-house model, but we do have a secondary high-res short-range model, and this is called the Rapid Refresh. Its depiction here is even less moisture to work with, less cold air, and tracking farther to the north. You can see it's uh, all the way up towards the Richmond area and not bringing much moisture at all to our area. So the trend so far is not the snow lover's friend. We've got less moisture to work with. Cold air is lacking or even absent, what you saw on the graph model there. And overall, the system is weak and fast moving. So our window of opportunity is very small. So overall, in summary, our snow chances, at least for accumulations, are not likely during the time frame of Saturday morning. May you see a few snowflakes? Sure, in south side up through the peninsula and eastern shore, but it's not likely to really stick. So here's how I think it shakes out as we get into early Saturday morning. To the south, in the green, just plain old cold rain, a little bit farther to the north there into the peninsula, Surrey County, northern Isle of Wight. Uh, maybe a few flakes mixing on in. In the blue, that's where your best shot at seeing a little bit longer period of some wet snow. That could amount to a coating, maybe slightly higher totals on some elevated and grassy surfaces. And that's held for the eastern shore, northern neck, and northern peninsula.